Let's talk about the benefits of taking zinc for your sleep. I've done a lot of other videos on zinc. It's an incredible mineral. It is a trace mineral, which means that you need it in small amounts. Uh, it's in seafood, shellfish, uh, red meat. It's in a lot of other foods, but it's an essential cofactor, okay? What does a cofactor mean? Cofactor, it's something that helps in the activation of enzymes, which are proteins. And I'm not necessarily talking about digestive enzymes. I'm talking about the enzymes that are protein machines that build tissue, that help you detoxify. They do a lot of things, but zinc is involved in over 300 different protein enzymes. And it's in over a thousand transcription factors. Now, what are those? Well, it's something that will turn your genes on or off at the right time and in a certain amount. So zinc is involved at the cellular DNA level for many, many things. If you're deficient in zinc, you're not gonna grow properly. You're, you might have stunted growth. Um, hypogonadism, which means you're not gonna produce enough testosterone. You could have cognitive deficits. You may not have the sense of taste or smell. Your immune system is weakened and you can be susceptible to uh, infections, viruses, especially of the lung. And like I said before, zinc is involved in DNA big time. But as far as sleep goes, it plays an essential role in neurotransmitters of the brain, especially an area of the brain called the locus ceruleus. That is a part of the brain that's involved in the sleep and awake cycle. Zinc is also involved in the metabolism of melatonin, which is stimulated by darkness, which helps you fall asleep. So zinc has a calming effect on your central nervous system. And by the way, so does magnesium, potassium, calcium, and B6. So if you're gonna take zinc, make sure you take it in the evening, not in the morning. Uh, I would recommend maybe a chelated zinc, and it wouldn't hurt to take some of these other uh, nutrients if you were gonna take zinc as a supplement. So, and if you're wondering what food has the most zinc, oysters, they're at the top of the list. And I put a link down below to show you another video I did on zinc so you could uh, see what foods are high in zinc. I'm also gonna put a link of an interesting study that talks about zinc. The highest amount of zinc is found in people who get between seven and nine hours of sleep as compared to people who get less than seven hours of sleep, which is interesting. And the last thing I'm gonna point out is that a lot of people are deficient in zinc, either because they're doing a high carbohydrate diet or they're doing too many grains with the, especially the whole grains, which have the fiber, because that has something called phytic acid, which blocks zinc. So if you wanted to increase the quality of sleep and not get up so often, you might wanna try zinc. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.